Good morning, everyone. So it's my version of uh, Tech Life podcast, uh, and this is podcast number one from me. And uh, uh, it's a, probably the right time to start my uh, podcast. Uh, and I thought of talking a bit about uh, remote working and uh, uh, safety and security measures. So uh, this has been normally not a normal type of podcast, uh, but more of uh, sharing information out of the web. So uh, we all know that we live now in a uh, chaos situation with uh, COVID uh, all over the world. So there's a huge trend uh, for remote working. Uh, and uh, a lot of organizations, big and small, uh, recommends and uh, they promote uh, remote working, especially for the safety of uh, their human resources and also the business continuity purposes. Mm. All right. So, but uh, the problem is uh, with remote working, there are so many other questions that we, and uh, from one perspective, a uh, lot of cyber related, cyber security related issues. So uh, it's better to be prepared. So this is the time where organizations should uh, um, start their business continuity or disaster recovery plans in place. So this also should be part of it. But anyway, so these are some of those tips, uh, tricks, and also set of information which can be useful. Uh, first of all, I'll go to this uh, Celerity page. Uh, so, Celerity Cyber Security Student Community have uh, released this uh, nice post. Avoid cyber attacks when working from home. So, there are a few things that you can do. These are tips. Uh, so, make sure you are using secure connection for your work. So, you are at home, uh, you have to log in to your office. Hmm. Resources. Uh, and sometimes the cloud resources. So best option is to use a VPN or a secure connection um, because there can be a lot of attacks uh, happening towards you to uh, take out your data, take out uh, data from your office, right? So it's very important to uh, have a secure connection. Mm -hmm. And especially it's important, like if you're using a uh, lot of other uh, mediums uh, to basically to connect with your organization, say WhatsApp, Viber, Telegram, or uh, even Facebook, right? So uh, and Zoom, like so, there can be a lot of information that you get leaked out. So we don't have the pre-assumption that these organizations do uh, uh, take this information, but uh, say so there's always the risk, and always uh, any of these platforms can get hacked. So best option is to have a VPN at your site to safeguard, and then uh, so we work with a lot of. Uh, our own devices so now we are not under corporate firewall so ensuring your operating system it can be your phone it can be your uh, tab or it can be your uh, device which is your, is your uh, laptop or your desktop you have operating system updated keep antivirus uh, there are good free antivirus software or just pay a little bit and make sure you update it and never share your personal financial information via email or message. So there are a lot of phishing campaigns. I show some examples later on. So there's plenty now. So never uh, like try to respond to these emails, unsolicited emails, or never ever send your financial information over Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp. So there can be people who are saying, "Okay, I'm going to deliver this and that." Never ever give a credit card information. So that's not the right way of doing that. And also there can be a lot of organizations popping up saying that we can deliver this so pay through so make sure that you do the background check uh, you, you are waiting for your essential needs but still you have to be careful if you lose your credit card at this juncture so that can be really painful for you so make sure you don't do that make sure that you cover your grounds mm -hmm. right so uh, if it is uh, in Sri Lanka if it is a case of pick me you trust the organization so then you don't have a problem right so we see a lot of things popping up. These are really good initiatives, but still we don't know who's behind that. So we have to be careful in many aspects. So don't just give out information, even your phone number, even your address, right? So you have to be, so because in chaos, things can happen, right? 
so be careful and companies should also consider using encrypted messages uh, so whenever possible use encryption so um, it's not a magic bullet uh, but still um, it's out there so you can use this technique right? avoid clicking on subscribe this is clickbait so like you know these sort of things really you know will uh, take out information so that's this thing called credential harvesting for all these things you know this uh, you have to be careful on clicking on the suspicious links if something is not right don't click it that's basically it and also have a backup strategy right so it's, it's a common sense right so these are the days uh, you are totally depend on your laptop at home so there's no cop no corporate backup solutions right it doesn't get backed up you know great solutions and all that so just keep a backup of your most important stuff even pen drive i know sometimes finding a pen drive can be difficult if you don't have it uh, around your home so just do a cloud backup so use a trustworthy cloud service and do backup your most important information even uh, little bit going away from cyber security not take your important information and then do a backup on that as well say maybe id copy or something like that and also you know do a lot of good security practices so they are all out there so yeah i so i do thumbs up for cyber security community for putting this out uh, all right and uh, so there are a few more tips from kaspersky uh, mostly the same thing uh, but let's see uh, yeah so uh, of course they may be marketing the antivirus solution but still um, it's really important to have your uh, antivirus solution right mm, because uh, yeah because uh, now it's a time of chaos so anything can happen right so you are totally depend on your computer even not don't think only it's about work right it's going beyond the work right so even to uh, do your basic day-to-day -day things you're so dependent on social media right to get your information so do you, do you want your company to get affected at this time from a, a virus there are so many viruses out there ransomware so make sure you have a reliable security solution but please don't use crack products right so it doesn't make any sense and then um, update your programs so it's similar which was uh, said earlier right so i'm not going to talk about it and uh, this is something new mm, most of the time uh, you're using your wi-fi home wi-fi right or maybe the land but mostly people now used to work with wi-fi right and you do all your uh, corporate stuff now in your wi-fi home wi-fi right so be careful about your wi-fi security right so if you are not a geek uh, what you have to do is basically go to your router and check your encryption status right and also so normally the best at the moment is WPA2, right? Um, and also create a good password for your Wi-Fi. It's very important, right? So, uh, so this, this, there are so many tools to hack your Wi-Fi. So, <laughs> you, you, know, you don't need your data to be, uh, your you know, bandwidth to be stolen by a hacker at this point, right? And apart from that, yes, so um, there are other dangers. So make sure you have a good Wi-Fi encryption. And also change your router login and password. So uh, just ask this question when did you change your wi-fi also without login and password so then now is the time to do that and uh, yeah so this <coughs> might be important it might not be because maybe you are not in cafes anymore co-working spaces anymore but if it's the case yes so still it's important um, yeah and lock your device uh, this might not be the important because uh, you're at your home but still you know maybe like you know it's not uh intentional but your kids can come and you know do a few things you know uh, they also you know want to have some fun and lockdown mode so lock your computer um use your corporate services for email messaging so uh, you have office 365 and there are other solutions available so use them so because they are anyway uh, protected monitored uh, so it's good good to use these corporate solutions for your Mm, uh, messaging purposes right so please don't uh, shift gear to other uh, non-corporate uh, services for uh, business related uh, communication right so that that might uh, give a bit of a trouble you know and also privacy is a big issue right? privacy please understand privacy is a big issue because uh, 
who can trust all these services out there right so better not better not and stay vigilant so it's always important so mm, get this information that know that somebody is out there to get uh, use out of this bad situation right so yeah so that's basically it all right and then um, yeah so uh, and there are a lot of new malware attacks so again i'm going to the cyber security community page so cyber criminals often use current news stories so whatever the news you know they will take it out and they will build a malware mm, yeah surrounding surrounding it right so mostly uh there's phishing emails uh, targeted uh, towards users especially corporate users um, with ransomware so ransomware is one of those uh, uh, nasty malware types right now so yeah so mm, yeah so there's this malware uh, moving out in japan so th these are things that you have to look for um yeah but there are uh, <laughs> there are things uh, that uh, people are asking form hackers not to do this but uh, like who can trust on cyber criminals and this is another example so if they want some uh, fake cdc emails on covid 19 cdc is the center for disease control and uh, they do send the official emails but there are a lot of fake emails going around so they are really worried about it so you now this can be sometimes life and death situation right uh, not only you are losing your corporate information so you will be very careful about this fake hmm, so-called fake information and uh, yeah so um, so there's this uh, uh, news came out and uh, this is uh, uh, this particular uh, article is from Norton so uh, and I forgot to mention I have to give uh, all uh, claim due claim to all these uh, articles that I'm, that I'm referring uh, this is from Norton and uh, so so these are like 19 scams right and uh, I'll just quickly go because you now you know what I did so there's the CDC alerts right so like in like I said earlier right um, so uh, all are fake alerts right so you can see uh, um, that's it coming from it says uh, US Health and Human Services website so this is a fake email. So it says Center Disease Control, Contest to Simonta Outbreak of 2019, blah blah blah. Yeah, and then update list of new cases around. So that's a fake email. Right. And also you get health advice email. So this is an example uh, that they have taken out. And uh, the emails might claim to form medical experts near Wuhan, China. Uh, and this little measure can save you. And uh, another one says use the link below download the safety measures. Don't ever do that. Right, so if you're in Sri Lanka, like say if the mail comes from a real authority, yes, but again, check for these uh, links. Right, so when you go to the link and right click and maybe copy paste somewhere and see what is the link, don't ever download anything these days if you're not sure where it's coming from, even a LinkedIn message, even a Facebook message. Don't be stupid, right? So, um, so things can go. I know, like, you know. Yeah, when you see the information you have the need that you have the need to look at it but be careful especially like these other things if it's coming from a friend yes it's an image yeah maybe okay but still i know uh, yeah be careful right and then uh, policy emails right so cyber criminals have targeted employees work based email accounts so so this one phishing email starts all due to the coronavirus outbreak say this this company is actively taking safety precautions by instituting a communicable disease management policy and see then download the policy click 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 you get a ransom by install right, so that's the problem so these are the things that you can get how do i avoid scammers and fake ads uh, okay so it's difficult you know uh posted ads and so in you know, google uh, i don't think they have been google ads but there can be a situation all right, so uh, tips for recognizing avoiding phishing emails beware online requests for personal information uh, that's it's highly unlikely that even a government organization will ask for a person because normally they do have it and check the email address so where it's coming from so normally it's a good practice to check where it's coming from the email address read it so if you have a lot of alphanumerics in that so you can always uh, assume that it's coming from somewhere bad Watch for spelling and grammatical mistakes. So these are the common ways of looking at a phishing. I'm not going to detail of it. I'm not doing a lecture here. 
but uh, some of these things might be there, might not be there, but still uh, be, uh, be vigilant about it. Um, all right, so, uh, and also if you want to get uh, yeah, real legitimate information, it is in US mainly, Center for Disease Control, right, and uh, for everywhere in the world, World Health Organization, so if you go to YouTube this day, you get this, you know, and National Institute of Health, so, and also trust your uh, main, uh, body in your own country right so that's what you have to do all right mm, jumping to the next link so this is a simple guide so if you go to this get cyber safe uh, this Canadian website you can especially the small and medium businesses right the big businesses they anyway have business country plan disaster plans uh, they have the IT policies all these things are there so people are a little bit aware but for small and medium businesses uh, these sort of documents can be a good uh, starting point but one thing about a lot of uh, these small and medium businesses, they anyway they are just to do remote working, right? So, especially like from the tech background, the startups, you know, they always do remote working. So they are kind of ready, right? But maybe like for the other 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 factors, uh, uh, vectors, like you know, maybe it's a bit new. So you can always uh, look at a guide like this, uh, explaining uh, kind of basic checklist, you know no one has time to go through everything but have basic checklist very basic checklist all right uh, okay and then yes so hackers promise no more healthcare cyber attacks uh, yeah so yeah if you read this article from Forbes uh, yeah it's, it's uh, interesting article uh, ransomware cyber crime game promised to do healthcare free pass uh, Lawrence uh, Abrams, the creator of Bleeping Computer, reached out of the cybercrime groups behind the operation of some of the most profiled dangerous ransomware threats. Uh, they asked the question, will you continue to target health and medical organizations during COVID-19 pandemic? At the time of writing, two had replied and their answers might surprise many readers. The first to respond were the operators of the Doppeltamer ransomware, who told Abrams, always try to avoid hospitals, nursing homes. Yeah, so maybe like, you know, we can see the right side of it. Uh, any bad person might have that tool and line there, you know. So, they, uh, and also say, do not touch 911. So, yeah, there can be some good things, but still, who knows, be better to be prepared, right? So, yeah, Corona would change, would basically change the whole world, the mindset of everyone. You see, right? So, it's not, it's too early to give any predictions. Yeah. <laughs> So, yes, so that's a nice article. Um, yeah, and also, uh, this is a, a kind of a checklist uh, given from NCSA. It's a think tank, I believe. Uh, yeah, so think before you click. So we talked about it. Lockdown, you're logging. We talked about it. Uh, yeah, anything new? Uh, yeah, CPN, separate your network if possible, right? Mm, yeah. And limit access it's very important limit access to the device that you work and update your software uh, yeah. so if, if you always have the vetted devices for very uh, i would say confidential things it'd be much better right so company vetted that two devices uh, it's some, some something that we should do uh, coming or thinking about the next few months right if you are working with very uh, specific confidential things all right, uh, and then, uh, yeah, this is uh, a stay safe security resource library. So there are some tips uh, and things. Uh, so this is from stay safe online. So they have released a library of things that you can look at. So there are plenty of things here. I'm not going to open any of these things. So you guys can have a look at it. Um, probably in my second episode, I will go and touch some of these things. Mm, yeah, so there are alerts, uh, recommendations on VPN security. So all these things are existing knowledge, but you now they have collated everything and put it in one place uh, where it can be useful for anybody who's starting up. And so there are so many things, even business, Facebook, they have business resource hub, so remote working toolkits for logging. Uh, so there are so much of things that you can use. And also be careful, there are a lot of good things right now. So. Uh, a lot of people are giving things for free like zoom they're giving out free stuff uh, meaning like they can use our product their product for free and google is giving a lot of free good good free things for people to continue their work so so you can't just stay at home doing nothing right but 
at the same time there can be people just wanted to give free things because you say free it, it makes sense at this time because you, you are financially lost we have an economic downturn so all these things are there so but just be careful and when you say free things right mm, yeah so that's that's a tip right um okay this is for the next one but this is very important if you want to look at it uh, it's a very important website but i'm not going to talk about it right now yeah but uh, be, be, uh, be cautious about it okay next two articles uh, is somewhat eye-opening right so uh, so some uh, parts in the world so as an example here in eu whatsapp and signal replaced by new mystery messaging app so people are taking some pretty interesting moves uh, towards uh, this issue so it's understandable right so uh, see uh, they're prohibiting uh, to use whatsapp so just just uh, look under the hood why is that and they are looking for a mystery app for secure message so this article yeah this was a bit old but i have not uh, got any uh, news on what is really this messaging app but you can have a look at it right so this is something that's happening in the europe and this is also important so Mm, this is in BBC. Uh, Israel enables emergency spy powers, right? So Israel government has approved emergency measures for its security agencies to track mobile phone data of people suspected coronavirus. Yeah, so that can happen. And I think the government has the right to do it. Uh, it's controversial, but still, uh, this can happen because you know in Sri Lanka, a lot of people. You know, all this situation, you know, break happened because some people just lied. So it's. Uh, very sad to see that's happening so if that is the case government has all the right to control it yeah so again highly controversial right but uh, it's a good eye opener all right so that's basically uh, all for this episode hope it was useful um i'm going to upload this in youtube anyway so please give a comment and uh, subscribe to my channel as well thank you